Hey, let's go to the Clinton campaign headquarters in Brooklyn, New York. Hillary Clinton's campaign manager, Ravi Mooks, here. And, of course, the first question we have to ask you, and we hope you're not offended, but we just have to ask a question. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Brangelina, how sad are you about that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am notoriously uh, known for my lack of knowledge about popular culture. Good. So That's I, a dodge, Robbie. That is a yeah. dodge. You just can't answer the question, can I you? I literally, sir? you know, I don't know. <laughs> I swear to God. All right, so, um, so uh, a disturbing incident on September 11th, obviously disturbing for you all and anybody who cares for Senator Clinton as well, Secretary Clinton. Uh, the pneumonia incident, uh, has that changed? the way you guys are going to be dealing with the press moving forward? Um, I, actually, I think we've been really happy with our relationship uh, with the press. Uh, as you know, she's been doing uh, regular avails. Be, right, uh, I know, but just not coming as plane. straightforward as, as maybe you should have at the very beginning about the pneumonia diagnosis. People said that was indicative of a much bigger problem, sort of a, this veil of secrecy. I, you know, I just don't think so. I, as, as I said that day, we said that day, uh, we wish that we'd gotten that information out a little bit more quickly. That's on us uh, as a staff on the campaign. Um, but, you know, she's rested up. She's back on the road. Uh, no. We're happy to be doing those avails every day. Donald <laughs> Trump's not doing that. Um, and uh, we're, we're feeling really good about, right. uh, about so from, that. So some, from Brangelina to uh, pneumonia to George H.W. Bush, has uh, Secretary Clinton had any conversations? with George H.W. Bush about his endorsement of her? N not at all. And, you know, I, I think this is indicative of what's uh, going on more broadly with Donald Trump. We're seeing Republican after Republican. We've had many senators express that they simply cannot support him. And yeah. he has a problem at the core of his base. Uh, and they continue to be alienated because they realize he is unfit and unqualified to be our next commander in chief. Willie, not only uh, the president, Republican president, Republican vice president, and also the head of the RNC under Richard Nixon. Yeah. Just yeah, voting for up, a Democrat. Lining them up. Although President George H.W. Bush's uh, uh, office came out and said he, is, he did not say what he's alleged to have said and he's not talked publicly In front about of 40 where he's people. Vote. Right, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I want to turn, Robbie, to foreign policy. We just had on about an hour ago sitting on this very set one of the leaders of the Syrian opposition. She's in town for the UNGA, all but crying out for American leadership as she painted about as bleak a picture of what's happening inside that country as you can imagine, particularly in the city of Aleppo. Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State when this crisis began. What's her biggest regret? about the way Syria has been handled. Well, I th obviously, she's been out of office for some time now. But she was there the when it started. Yeah. Well, right, but but uh, you know, she, I, I think she is well regarded uh, for her leadership as Secretary of State. She came out of that office with a 70 percent uh, approval rating. Uh, she, uh, in contrast to Donald Trump, has released a clear and decisive plan to defeat ISIS. Uh, Donald Trump has said uh, that he thinks he knows more about it than the generals and refuses to tell us what his secret plan is. I understand, uh, Robbie. Well, what about in Syria, though? She supported the drawing of the red line. Obviously, she was out uh, of her office when, when Assad used chemical weapons. Was it a mistake to draw the red line if the president was not willing to go uh, to do something about it when it was crossed? Well, as you pointed out, the, the, the decision regarding that was made after she was uh, out of office. So I, I think you'd have to ask President uh, uh, Was President she disappointed that the president Kerry didn't act when the line was crossed? I, I think you'd have to ask her about that question, how she would characterize well, you're here her to speak feelings for her, about Robbie. So what he did. You, you haven't discussed that at all? <laughs> she, <laughs> uh, look, I, what matters is what she is going to do as president. And as I said, she has a clear plan to defeat ISIS. Donald Trump does not. It's a secret. He won't tell anybody what it is. And he says he knows more than the generals. So day, I think the day, choice for voters is okay. clear. So day one in office then, Robbie, what does she do in regard to Syria? Well, first of all, she needs to. She has said that she will work with our allies uh, to to uh, uh, dismantle uh, their safe uh, harbor in Syria and Iraq. Uh, she will harden our defenses here at home, and she will dismantle their network around the world. And a lot of that's going to happen in this in cyberspace um, and and through digital communications. So um, you can go on our website uh, and and read the full plan there. So, Robbie, we do realize that you are not Secretary of State, but uh, in the debate next Monday evening, how would Secretary Clinton respond to somewhat of a version of the following question? We've had a relief convoy bombed, potentially a war crime. 
uh, leading into Aleppo. What would you do, Secretary Clinton, about providing food, water, and medicine to the citizens of eastern Aleppo today, right now, differently than what the Obama administration is doing? What would she do differently? I, I, again, I think you're going to have to ask her uh, that question. That's, that's a matter of policy. I'm going to leave well, but, but, uh, her what, to what determine are you here, that. What are you, we, we love you, buddy, but what are you here for? If you can't answer <laughs> basic questions, that I mean, I, I, I don't know if there's a. I mean, we're we may be uh, tiptoeing into Gary Johnson territory here. If you don't know the answer to that basic of a question, what is the response to Aleppo? Then what? Why do we have you here? I think I. Look, I, you're asking uh, new policy questions. Um, you would have to ask the secretary new. for that. My uh, job's Aleppo's not to been set around policy. For, Syria's been around for some time. The red line being drawn has been around for some time. I'm not, I'm not I, being difficult here at all. No, These no, are no, basic I, questions. And I'm not being difficult either. I'm, I, I'm simply saying that she has laid out uh, a plan uh, to defeat ISIS. Uh, and if there are new questions pertaining to Aleppo, I'm going to need to let her answer those. And she will answer those uh, in the debate. And we look forward uh, to her having the opportunity to do that. And as I said, Donald Trump has been able, uh, unable rather, to uh, release uh, a plan. And we hope that he will uh, reveal what his plans are in the debate. Well, Robbie, let me move on to another topic, and that's the economy. That's Bianca Goldriga. Good morning. Um, with regards to our role as a global player, a lot of business leaders here and abroad are concerned about America's so-called move towards isolationism. We're hearing uh, that from Donald Trump, but we're also hearing uh, from Hillary Clinton uh, disagreeing with President Obama on TPP, even though she agreed with that early on. What is her policy with regards to globalization? And, and addressing some of these concerns that a lot of these business leaders have around the world right now. Well, she, uh, Secretary Clinton has been uh, very clear that any trade deal needs to meet a set of tests. First of all, it needs to create jobs here in the United States. It needs to raise wages. Uh, and it needs to align with our national security interests. And so that's the test that she's going to apply to any trade deal. Uh, uh, the, the TPP language that was finalized did not meet that test in her view. And so she's not supporting it. And was she, she will continue pressured to, to not support that? Was she, pressured, was she pressured to not support TPP from Bernie Sanders? Uh, she, she wasn't pressured in either direction. She had a clear set uh, of, uh, uh, of criteria that she was going to match it up against. She announced those before the final TPP language was released. And at the time that it was, uh, she, she took a look at it and felt that it didn't meet those tests. Hey, Robbie, before we let you go quickly, one aspect of the Syria policy for Secretary Clinton we do know is that she has supported no-fly zones in the country. Is that still her belief that no-fly zones are a good idea? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let uh, her, her statements speak for themselves. <laughs> Robbie, aren't you here representing her point of view? I, I am indeed, and I'm going to let her language speak for itself. Well, you've been saying that Donald Trump won't tell us what the policy is, but here you are not telling us what the policy well, you're, is. You're, I, you are quoting uh, Secretary Clinton's plans as she's laid them out. I'm going to let them speak for themselves. Donald Trump has not laid out a single plan. But if Donald Trump doesn't have a plan, as you're saying he doesn't, and I've been on the campaign trail with him, and you can't lay out your plan, how can you convince voters that Hillary Clinton is the better choice, Robbie. What I'm saying, it, again, you, you all are quoting uh, Secretary Clinton. She is out there speaking about these issues. I'm going to let her words speak for themselves. Uh, the problem is Donald Trump hasn't spoken on any of this. He says he knows more about uh, all right. ISIS than the generals, all and right. I think that should be troubling. Ends up. Uh, my first question, I think, was the uh, probably the best, uh, which was about <laughs> Brangelina. Uh, we could get an answer on that. <laughs> Campaign manager for Hillary Clinton, Robbie Mook, thank you so much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.